Okay, let's continue with diffraction grating. Now, uh, previously, uh, we are always using uh, a monochromatic light to produce the diffraction pattern. Okay, it is a monochromatic light, means only one wavelength, one color. Uh, for example, this one I use uh, the red light. Huh? This one I use the red light. Yeah? Red light, uh, and this is the diffraction pattern. Yeah, one wavelength using the wave, the red light, the wavelength of the red light. Okay, only one color. That's what means by monochromatic light. What if you are using white light? Uh, white light is not monochromatic. Okay, white light is not mono. Chromatic. Instead, it has many wavelengths. Yeah, this uh, this white light uh, is not just one wavelength. It has many wavelengths. We know that uh, the white light uh, during the rainy day, uh, the if the white light is being dispersed by the raindrops, it forms rainbow of color. This rainbow has seven colors, isn't it? Uh, so it has many wavelengths to form the white light. Okay, it has uh, many wavelength uh, so what kind of wavelength it has it has the wavelength of the red light red orange yellow green blue indigo violet uh, so it has a uh, 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 seven seven wavelength all right so um you can see over here the rainbow color is start from blue uh, and uh, it starts from actually this is violet, then indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange. In the end, is red. Uh, but why the red is not over this position? Why the red is not over here? Why the red is uh, at the at the left hand side? Why the uh, red is not at the right hand side? Uh, why it does not start from red? Instead, it starts from blue color. Uh, it starts from violet color. Uh, okay. This one also, the violet also over here, and then the red is at the other side. Why is it like that? Uh, why is it it's not the other way around? Why is it not start with the red and with violet? Uh, okay, so as you can see, this is all because of the angle theta. Angle theta is the angle of uh, diffraction. Okay, angle diffraction depends on wavelength. Sine theta is proportional to the wavelength. Uh, that's a reason. That means the longer the wavelength, the longer the wavelength, the higher or the bigger the angle of diffraction. Uh, so uh, if you look at here, where is the angle of deflection? Uh, let's say for violet. Uh, let me draw out the angle of deflection. Diffraction. Uh, so from here, uh, this is the angle of diffraction. See that? Uh, from the center. Central bright fringe. Uh, it's from the central bright fringe. Ah, uh, this is the angle of diffraction for the violet. Uh, for the violet. Uh, whereas for the red color, uh, this is the angle of diffraction, much bigger. Uh, much bigger. This is the angle of diffraction for the red color. Uh, same goes to the other side. Yeah. Uh, I can also draw like that. Uh, the red, the violet is over here, and then the red is. Uh, over here, uh, you see that it's the same. So this angle also theta violet, yeah. And then from here to here is the angle for the red color. So why is it violet has a smaller angle compared to the red angle? Ah, uh, because um because okay, the reason is the sine theta is proportional to the wavelength. The longer the wavelength. The, the bigger it will be the angle of uh, diffraction. Uh, so which one has a bigger wavelength? The red color. Ah, so the red color has a longer wavelength. The red color has a longer wavelength. The violet has a shorter wavelength. So what I can imagine is like this. Uh, this is the red color. Uh, this is the red color. Uh, longer wavelength. Violet is a, has a only very short wavelength. Uh, so the longer the wavelength, uh, the longer the wavelength, the bigger the the bigger the angle, uh, the bigger the angle. So that's why I can say the angle the angle for red is bigger. Uh, yeah, the longer the wavelength, the bigger the angle of diffraction. Uh, that's why you see the red color has a very big angle. 
Uh, but for the violet, has a very short wavelength. Very short wavelength. So the angle for the violet will be small. Uh, will be small. So the angle of diffraction for angle for violet will be small. So that's why uh, uh, the blue also the obo also small. Yeah, blue just beside the violet. Uh, that's why the 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 purple the purple color is nearest to the central central bright fringe, whereas the red one is the furthest away from the central uh, central bright fringe. Okay. Uh, because the red one has a long wavelength, has a big angle. The violet has a sh small, short wavelength, short wavelength, smaller angle of diffraction. Uh, we, or we can say, uh, the longer the wavelength, the longer the wavelength, more diffraction. Uh, the bigger the the bigger the theta means more diffraction. Uh, and then the shorter the wavelength, the less shorter wavelength, less diffraction. Uh, this one less. Uh, this one less diffraction. Okay. Uh, so that's it. Um, we can imagine like this. Uh, if there is a slit, if let's say, uh, yeah, bigger wavelength. Uh, why like that? Because let's say I have a slit. I have a slit. If I have a long wavelength, if I have a long wavelength, yeah, if the wavelength is uh, big, yeah, if the wavelength is big, then the diffraction will be a lot, uh, a lot of diffraction. We can say because the size of the slit, yeah, the size of the slit is a uh, very, we say we can say, uh, the size of the slit is uh, very small compared to the wavelength uh, more diffraction okay but if you have um, if you have a wavelength uh, if you have a very long wavelength a uh, very short wavelength if let's say you have a very short wavelength okay like that uh, very short wavelength very short wavelength uh, then the diffraction will be less uh, the diffraction will be less. Uh, okay, the diffraction will be less. Uh, the smaller angle. Uh, this one, uh, if the A is uh, bigger than the wavelength, uh, then has a uh, less less diffraction. This one, if the wavelength is very 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 uh, very high, uh, very high wavelength. Okay, again, if it has a very high wavelength, has more. More diffraction. If it has a short wavelength, uh, less diffraction. Okay, all right. So you can here you can see there are several applications for diffraction grating. What is a diffraction grating? Okay, again, diffraction grating. Diffraction grating is actually a plate which contains many many parallel lines or many slits uh, it has many slits not just one slit or two slit but it has many slits you see it has many slits one two three four uh, not just four but many uh, yeah uh, we also uh, it has sometimes we say it has a uh, hundred lines in only one cm in one cm in one cm it has hundred lines hundred slits uh, maybe Sometimes 100 lines in 1 cm, maybe it's 300 lines in 1 cm. So it's very, very, uh, very, very small. Yeah, the separation between the slit is very small. Uh, okay, uh, that is the uh, number of slits. Yeah, so it has many slits, uh, like this one. You see, it has many slits. So, what are the things that has many slits? Okay, first we have DVD uh, or CD. Yeah, DVD or CD. It has many small pits in spiral. Yeah. Uh, as you can see here, uh, CD uh, has a much bigger slit compared to DVD. It has a much smaller slit. Uh, if you now we have CD, DVD, HD, DVD, and Blu-ray. Uh, the Blu-ray is the smallest already. Okay. Blu-ray is the smallest size already. So if you look at here, uh, D CD. Uh, you see this is actually the this is actually the slit separation. Uh, this is actually the slit size. 
the slit separation okay 830 nanometer but for dvd the the slit separation is uh 400 nanometer uh, for blu-ray the blu-ray is uh, only uh, 150 nanometer uh, so you see become smaller and smaller uh, more and more slits we can say yeah in the same size you can see more and more slits uh, yeah actually these uh, size of slits will affect the the amount of information that can be stored in the CD or DVD uh, if you have bigger size of slits uh, this one can record less information uh, this one stored store less info uh, but if you have a smaller size uh, it can store more information store more information uh, because the light will pass through the slits and recorded as the binary number one and zero uh, that's how if you have more slits means it can it can uh, generate more uh, more information okay more slits this one more slits one less slit less information uh, so uh, if you pass a, a laser pointer you know these uh, slits are uh, these uh, small pits are uh, they arrange in spiral form spiral form means if you see uh, you see it's almost like spiral form uh, you cannot see spiral form because it's like this the slit is like this uh, it's, it's uh, arranged in a spiral form like that Ah, okay. So uh, that's how it record the information. Yeah, in spiral. Yeah, uh, in spiral. Yeah, it has many slits. It arrange in spiral. My spiral is not not uh, beautiful enough. Yeah, uh, yeah. Arrange in spiral. Okay. So let's compare about CD and DVD. Yeah. If for CD, uh, DVD. A uh, CD it has a uh, it has a uh, bigger slits, but DVD it has a uh, small much smaller slits. Okay, how it uh, which one? Uh, if we pass a laser pointer, let's say we pass a laser pointer uh, through the CD. Yeah, let's say we have a DVD. Yeah, CD or DVD. Okay, this is the CD, and now uh, I pass through a laser. I pass a laser. Uh, I, I have a laser pen. I pass it and i want to look at the diffraction pattern uh, i want to look at the diffraction pattern okay so i want to see the slits uh, i want to see the slits okay so which one can produce more fringes uh, which one can produce more fringes yeah uh, look at this one um if we have a bigger d yeah use the info we we'll use the formula d sine theta equal to n lambda this one is equal to n lambda. Now we pass a laser pointer, it will form a diffraction pattern. So use the formula uh, d sine theta equal to n lambda. Ah, so bigger d, bigger d, you you can see more fringes on the slit. Uh, you can see more fringes on the slit. Ah, uh, yeah. You, that means it can produce uh, higher maximum order of bright fringe. Uh, you can see uh, on the, uh, I can say that on the screen on the screen you can see uh, more fringe I can see more fringe uh, this is not about the information that can be stored uh, this is just the diffraction pattern I'm not talking about the I'm not talking about the what I not this is the di only the diffraction pattern I'm not talking about the information stored yeah this is not not related to the information store uh, so uh, you can see more bright fringe. Uh, you can see more bright fringe on the diffraction pattern because this one has a bigger D. It, uh, it will have a higher maximum order. Higher maximum order. Yeah. When we use uh, what? When we use uh, sine ninety. Uh, sine ninety, which is equal to one. Uh, yeah. So uh, the formula become D equal to n maximum uh, lambda. Uh, so the big, the bigger, the bigger the D, the higher the maximum order that it can form. So you can see more fringes. But for DVD, but for DVD, uh, D sine theta equal to n lambda. Okay, for DVD, uh, it has a smaller D, and uh, it will produce 
less less maximum or uh, less order of fringes that means you can on the screen on the on the screen you can see uh, less bright fringe you can see less bright fringe uh, diffract much big much further away from each other the the fringes diffract much uh, you can see less bright fringe yeah uh, because what we can say um, bigger the uh, you can see more diffraction, more bright fringe because less diffraction, uh, less diffraction. But this one smaller d, smaller d means it has uh, more diffraction, uh, more diffraction. Uh, okay, more diffraction. Yeah, smaller d, more diffraction. Yeah, that means the angle, or we can in the other way we can say that um. Uh, the bigger the D, the bigger the D, uh, we can say the other way, this D equal to uh, N lambda over sine theta, uh, yeah, the bigger the D, the smaller the angle, uh, the smaller angle, less diffraction lah, uh, but if you use the, the other way, the other one, uh, smaller D, Smaller d means more diffraction. Uh, the higher the angle of diffraction. That's why, that's why. Um, uh, let's consider yeah, this one as uh, let's say this is the central maximum. So the first, this is a central bright fringe. The first bright fringe is much further away compared to this one. The first bright fringe is much closer to the central bright fringe uh, because the smaller angle. This one bigger angle. Uh, yeah. What I'm talking, what I'm saying is this one. Yeah, let's say this is the this is the central. This let's say this is the central central bright fringe. Uh, so the first order bright fringe will be much further away. Will be much further away uh, because of the bigger angle. Okay. Uh, so that is uh. So if you use CD, you just maybe if let's next time you have a CD, you just point a laser. Uh, laser point, uh, laser pointer through the CD, and you see, you can see a diffraction pattern form on the on the surface. If you use a DVD, uh, you also can see the diffraction pattern. But the diffraction pattern, the bright fringe are much further apart. Uh, yeah, uh, I can write there. If this one bright fringe further apart, uh, this one bright fringe, uh, this bright fringe closer to each other all right uh, this one close bright fringe uh, close co closer to each other now how about the musk muslin cloth muslin cloth is also has many slits uh, like the, the cd and dvd also has many pits many small pits many slits muslin cloth also has many slits uh, yeah it, it, it is a cloth that made of very fine thread, uh, very fine thread. If you, have, if you have less thread, then the slit size is bigger. If you have more thread, yeah, you have more thread, uh, the, the more thread, uh, then the slit will be become smaller. Uh, we use the uh, muslin cloth to, you know, to shift the powder, to, to, especially for baking. You want to shift the powder to loosen the powder. Uh, we use a muslin cloth. So similarly, if you point the laser pointer across the muslin cloth, you surely can see the diffraction pattern because the fine thread, the slits uh, in between the threads form the diffraction grating already. Yeah? Uh, the, the, the slits in between the thread of the muslin, mus, uh, muslin cloth, it is served as a diffraction grating that uh, whenever you point the laser pointer through the muslin cloth, uh, it forms a diffraction pattern, okay, just like the CD and DVD, uh, okay. So it has this one CD and DVD has many pits. This one has uh, many slits along the thread, yeah, along the thread. Now, um, okay, so that's all for uh, this video. Now, okay, uh, let's let's look at the last one. All right.